ladies and gentlemen, today we have found by far the most expensive motor coach paint job in the history of motor coaches. We're with the legend Dean Locks. How you doing today, sir? Hey, Andrew, good to see you guys again. Always an honor. And you have been up to something uh, incredible here behind us. What's going on here, sir? Well, you know, springtime, we went around and we looked at probably 20 different coaches. And, you know, is this one it? Is this one it? Is this one it? Remember that video? That was a lot of fun. We finally saw the coach and we talked about taking this old coach. It's a 2002 and uh, bringing it back to a level that it's never been. And no one's ever seen anything like this before. So over 2,000 hours of paint work behind every door, every bay door has been brushed, the stainless has been rebrushed and cleaned up and ceramic coated. Everything I could find has been painted to look new again. It's got brand new suspension, new wheels. First time these Wheel Pro rims are on an old 2002 coach. So that in itself brought it up to date and made it look new. Yeah, just an incredible piece of art. And the paint scheme here, a lot of the longtime followers of the channel that have been following Dean's artwork. You started your Turtle Mode series. Uh, when did you oh, target? Probably five years ago. Around yeah. the time yeah. I started this YouTube channel. Yeah. And uh, Dean has been a longtime supporter of the YouTube channel. Greatly appreciate that uh, for the last five years and you've been reading a lot of the comments and over the years a lot of folks commented several times why don't you paint one of those turtles on a bus yes and that's where it started Dean was listening to your comments so we appreciate <laughs> all that but ladies and gentlemen the camera does not do justice and Dean has turtle paintings that you know push into the six figures extremely expensive paintings but this is like triple or even bigger than than your other paintings by far way bigger the square footage and what it took you know I really wanted you to be able to get up close and see the detail, see the texture in the skin, all the different wrinkles and folds, but yet not have it, a, I don't want it an airbrush look, you know? I want this, it's like, how did how did it get painted on there? How did you create this? So a lot of different techniques were used to, to, to create the turtle, give it depth at the back where it's more blues, like it's in the water further away from you and the colors get real vibrant up here at the head. The turtle itself is all solid colors, and then right around it, we have the metallic and the pearls that jump. So this is all pearl here. This is all solid with the background, almost like the waves, the way they cast light from the waves coming down. When you walk around and get to see it in person, it's just, it's just over the top. So happy to have this opportunity and that people even asked to do it. And you know, we figured out a way to make it look right and make it be better than anything else that's, that, that we've done. Yeah, this is just an exciting project. You know, the window film on the back. An old XL wouldn't have window film. The window film on the front carrying through the shape. This whole stainless steel was repolished to perfection and then we ceramic coated that. It, it, it just is endless. You know, when I got done painting it, I thought I was having another 250 hours of sand and buff. I had over 700 hours when I got done painting it to wrap it up. Wow. Just, just crazy, and I'm not even done. Yes, sir. <laughs> and I'm noticing, you know, we see the Dean Lauk signature on a lot of the Liberty coaches, but this is a second Dean Lauk signature just below this painting here. This was almost a separate painting within the paint scheme. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, good catch on that. Yeah, with everyone at the shop, we kind of thought, well, I mean, what if someone wonders who painted the mural, right? Well, then just to let them know that uh, the artist who did the bus did the mural. Now, this is your fifth Liberty coach, an artist series as well. And I've got to ask you the question everyone's thinking, if someone wanted to paint this level of a mural on their bus, what would that cost? So I really don't want to be in the mural business per se. Uh, running the shop and 18 people and, and, and doing the Liberty Coach to perfection the way we do, you know, that's that's what we're good at. We're already at a different level than, than anything else out there. This would come available at some point in time when I'm completed with the project. And, you know, it probably adds about 325,000 in paint for this project, for what was done to it. But if someone wanted to hire you, you're not looking to take on more work like this. This is kind of a one-off deal. You know, I like to say no, uh, but it would really have to be a lot to get me excited to. To, to do something. You know, the murals went back in the mid 90s. After I learned the computer, I envisioned how I could scale up these templates so that I could hand paint the mural and make it look the way it does and then duplicate it for both sides, which then led into the way we do the stripes. So immediately I go to Liberty Coach and I said, hey, you know, we'd like to paint your coaches. They're like, no, Prevo does it, which is for great sake, you know, and loyalty for years. And I like that loyalty part. So hats off to Liberty for being loyal and 
and sticking with it. But then pretty soon our paint designs got so advanced, you know, it keeps up and it really fits Liberty very well with their interiors and their quality. Our quality does that too. Yeah, so if someone brought the right project to you, uh, you never know, never say never. Never say never. The new Liberty Coach paint jobs are, you know, pushing on a couple hundred thousand dollars when they get into an artist series. So really a lot of value here. Yeah, yeah. Well, you almost think that because part of it's stainless, so you're only paying for half of it, but the, the, the length of time it takes to prep the stainless so that you get adhesion and then to go from here to here with this corrugation and to get it flat and smooth like everything else is, is a lot of work. And you don't want to burn through these edges, so it's, it's very difficult to sand these flat spots and get it straight, you know? It's just a different level. You've got the turtle painting coming down into this stainless, and yeah, there's little curves there. I can imagine that gets very difficult to bring that paint scheme through all those curves. And there was something that I saw where the painting went through the awning? The awning supports. We've got awning supports here, but yeah, it's, it's different on the other side. To me, what was cool is that this bus is low. This bus uh, doesn't have the big awnings, the tall awnings that go down the side, so it's got these little ones. It doesn't have roof air. So there's nothing that really obscures the height of it. And so it's this lean, mean turtle machine. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, and then just the amount of intricate detail. When we look up close at that awning rail and how many stripes and drop shadows and metallics, there's a lot going on there. This is by far the most complicated window film anyone's ever seen. To be able to paint this and get it laid down there was just a, a feat of perfection. Yes, sir. Uh, Mark there at the shop, he's a surgeon with paint. He's just technical. Uh, everything else on here, I was I painted myself. The guys would lay out the stripes, I'd paint the colors, and I got everything the way I wanted, did all the shadowing. So it was just, it was a labor of love. And, and talking about those awning rails here on the door side of the coach, even the mural of the turtle goes through this awning rail. Just incredible. No one's ever done anything like this. Well, I don't think so. And the thickness of this, you think it's just a head on. So if you look at this straight on, yeah, you match up what's here. I'm coming at an angle trying to guess what's over here and put the pattern so that it looks good at, at either angle of it too, which was a, a pretty neat uh, way to look at it. So Andrew, you, you wouldn't realize that this section here is probably one of the most difficult on this whole paint job. So let me explain it. Uh, you put a piece of tape here so you can paint the black, right? You put a piece of tape here and here so you can paint that blue stripe. You put a piece of tape on either side of it here and either side of it there, and you keep duplicating that. So you got one piece of tape, two, three, four, five, 17, 18, 19, 35, 36, 37. So there's 37 individual pieces of tape that have to be wrapped around, have to be cut and then wrapped around that edge. But that's only 37 for this side. You've got <laughs> another 37 for this, right? So 37 and 37, it was 74. Combine that with a whole nother duplicate on the other side. 140 pieces of tiny minute pieces of tape so that you don't get a little tick in it just in this one section. Wow. I mean, you just wouldn't look at it. And that's what we always try to do is, is create something that's nice and flowing. And you just don't understand where all the details are and why it's so hard. Yeah, incredible how it flows through the windows as well. All of those intricate lines. So not only did you have to do all those tape on this, but the vinyl had to be taped off too, I'm assuming. You like to make it really difficult. So if anybody wants to try to copy you, they're going to have a hard time. Just have fun. <laughs> have yes, fun sir. with it like I did. It's just awesome that uh, anybody on YouTube even had the idea to come up and put the turtle on it. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, you know, you're always looking for something that's very identifiable. At a distance, going down the road, you know, 75, Highway 75 uh, runs north to south, that you're running one direction, you could look over and you could spot a coach, a Liberty, then you go, I know whose that is, right? This is definitely one of those. This is not gonna get confused. Yes, sir, you're definitely taking identifiable to another level with this coach. Now, as we go into the coach, I've got to point out even the doorbell has all that intricate paint work. And then the inside of this door has as diamond stitching. That was original from Liberty Coach, but Dean did have a lot of stuff done here. Let's cruise inside. Dean, this does not feel like an O2 at all. This is it's, in excellent condition. Isn't it? It's, and it's starting to change. The, the new furniture with the ultra suede on it, the ultra leather, captain, co-captain's chair, the computer chair, and the two dining room chairs, everything's new. And that in itself just made the coach feel new. The floor was in perfect shape. There's the cabinets and nothing's chipped up. So it's just, uh, 
how far do we go? And I want to keep that authentic Liberty Coach feel for the era. So it's not the uh, the new contemporary version, but it is very, very nice and it's comfortable for us. Yeah, extremely elegant with all of the different woodwork finishes, even that wine glass cabinet up there, the mirrored ceiling with that woodwork, very high-end craftsmanship. Yeah, I mean, back in the day, to make curved cabinets, curved wood, and all the detail, that's what uh, I, I've grown to love with this coach. Yeah, I like the lighter color cabinets. It's almost like an automotive paint style finish. Do you know uh, how they finish these cabinets to look like that? That is a product that Liberty used to use, and if I look at it correctly, it's got a almost a metallic and or a pattern rolled on the back side of like a plexiglass and then it's mounted to the panel. Vitricore, I think, is the name of it. Yeah, really looks good. How do you like this floor plan? You went from a 2018 to an 02. How is that working out? So we had three slides in our other one, you know, which was a grand bedroom, you know, massive when the slides are open. But the other day, uh, I said to Nancy, I go, hey, I got to fire the coach up and I got to move it. She didn't have to do anything different because there was no slide to put in. Dude, there's more, 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 but this is just perfect for us right now. Yeah, well, you want to show us around a little bit? Yeah, and, uh... yeah, yeah, so. Of course, uh, we talked about the furniture and everything. Man, all the cabinets, all the countertops are all in great shape. I think we'll update the faucets and the handles. Nancy would like a more of a regular door handle here. So this here is refrigerator. You got refrigerator here, cabinets, which is massive. And then you got the refrigerator. Oh yeah. It's almost like cribs. What's Lots of storage. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what's, a, what's in Dean's uh, refrigerator? Yeah. <laughs> so then you got the freezer. So you got two big freezer drawers here and here. Oh, wow. Lots of uh, refrigerator freezer yeah, space right. between those. That's all sub-zero. So if you want to keep it, you know, ice cold, uh, if you have uh, meat or fish that you need to keep frozen. Uh, We've got plenty of space. Very cool. Yeah, yeah. So then uh, microwave convection oven. This is uh, incredible. Uh, I remember the other owners baking cakes and stuff in here. It's like, how are you making all this stuff? She's like, well, make it right here on the coach. Yeah. Some pies or something like that. So then you've got cooktop, pantry, washer dryer. Liberty Coach always has a lot of storage everywhere. Just all these cabinets, little compartments, everything's got storage somewhere, which is really nice. And then I've got to ask you, driving this coach, you're going back several years from your 18. How does this coach drive a 20 plus year old Liberty? Well, I didn't quite know what I was getting into. And then we picked it up and this was even before I had all the suspension work done, and it was amazing. Absolutely amazing. It just blown me away how nice this thing drives. If I had to say the other one was a 10 on how I drove, this has got to be like nine, nine and a half. This is really a great drive. And you did have your first Liberty, was it 98 or 99? Was yes. It? How would you say that the this drives compared to that? Because those were pretty close in age. Yeah, well, I remember going down the road with that, and you're driving it. Like, it's, and it even had, you know, work done to it, so, but, you're driving it. And then as we got newer, they just kind of just track straight and you can sit back and you know drink your uh, water and you can listen to music and you're not driving. It's not so hard on you, right? Yeah. And this is definitely in that category. So I think it was way ahead of its time for what, however they designed the suspension and what they did. It's just really, really comfortable to drive. Yeah, very cool. Now going through the rest of the coach. Yep, so we got the refrigerator there. We got the uh, closets, full length closets. Three of them. Nancy gets two, I get one. <laughs> we got the uh, bathroom. Yeah, such high-end finishes as well, and so elegant the way Liberty finishes everything out. Even that wall, when you open this door up here, I gotta open that up, and I mean, check out this. Uh, let's get a close-up of this door handle. How cool is this door handle? But then when we open this up, check out how the fabric wraps around the door. And then when we close that fully flush, I mean, that just looks like a wall, an upholstered wall there. Just oh, I know, incredible. yeah. It's, at night, it's kind of hard to figure out which one where the bathroom is. <laughs> yeah. So, of yeah. course, the shower, second sink, and then the, the bedroom. And so this is just very simple. Plenty of room to walk around the bed, and uh, we don't spend a whole lot of time in here. So you come in at night, you sleep, you get up, and then you're somewhere else, and just simple. Yeah, it's still a lot of room back here without having the slides and 
a beautiful mural here on the ceiling. Yeah. Uh, and then the north-south facing bed, this is what a lot of the rock stars are using if they want to be sleeping while the bus is driving down the road. So if you ever want to hire a driver and uh, hang out back here, you're set up for that yeah, too. Well, yeah. Right, right. And there's more closets back behind here. So plenty of closet space. It's, it's amazing how they build these. Very I don't know cool. why anybody would want a, anything other than a Prevo. Dean, thanks for showing us around your crib. Uh, I really appreciate it. Now I have to ask you the question everybody wants to know, is this bus for sale? Well, it, it would be. I'd like to finish it first, but yeah, you know, I think it's probably going to have to be in the 700 range for someone to take this off our hands with everything that's been done. I mean, I had water valves replaced, not because they were broke, but because they're of age. So we're just going to replace these things, the, the dump valves, so that when you press it, it, there's nothing holding it up. It's a brand new valve. Everything's working. All the airlines, it doesn't leak. New slide seals, new suspension, A-arms, shocks, underglow lights were just put in, fans for the uh, generator compartment. I mean, everything I can think of other than you know, like transmission and engine, which, you know, I've never really heard of anything like that going out on them. So. Yeah, and the way these are built, they're such an industrial machine, they can be overhauled and brought back to life, kind of like what they do with the airplanes. So you're kind of treating it that, that same way. Exactly, and, and a lot of it just fix it before it's broke so that we're starting out with something new and then we've got history when we go to sell it, say, hey, it's, it's up to the standard that, that we want. Well, Dean, I really appreciate you taking us on a tour around this coach. Now, a lot of the viewers are probably wondering, do you have any turtle paintings available as well or any paintings? What, what else is new in your world? Oh yeah, yeah, you see them over at the clubhouse. That's most of them right there. I had a commemorative turtle that was matched the coach and it sold at the Liberty Coach Rally just last week. It was the same turtle and I'd come home at night after painting this. If that wasn't enough, I'd paint the turtle at, at home. And so that was the largest oil painting I'd done up to date. And it was four foot by five foot. Oh. And, uh, so it sold, it was beautiful. Well, congratulations to the new owners of yeah. that painting. Now, if someone's a serious and qualified buyer and they want to purchase this coach when you're all done with it, how can they get a hold of you? Well, call the shop, The Art of Design, 574-522-8838. Ask for me and it'll, the, the message will come through and I'll give you a call. Awesome, Dean. Well, can't thank you enough for taking the time to share that with us and all of your support for the channel. Greatly appreciate oh, you. You do a great job. I'm only as good as what's in front of the camera and you've made my job very easy. So <laughs> Thank you, Andrew. Yeah, thanks, Dean. Appreciate you. Also, greatly appreciate all of you out there subscribing to the channel. We hope you're all having a great day. Thanks, thanks again. Thanks for all the great comments.